I think you popped that thing in my back that needed to be popped. I'm really convinced that you popped it. So have you ever had a near-death experience? Yeah, but imagine if that was like all that needed to be popped and I lived with that for like almost a decade. Are you joking right now? I'm not. That <laughs> Holy that fixed my ears. Like thing in my back is gone. I'm like really convinced. My back doesn't hurt. All right, so let's start with some easy stuff. Back pain, neck pain. Uh, back pain and neck pain, upper back. Okay, upper back, and that's why you want to get a Y strap. Yeah. Okay, I've got something better, so we'll get to that. Okay. Um, tell me about the upper back uh, strain. How long has it been there? I want to say almost almost a decade. Okay. Yeah. I see. You can't even be old enough for that. How old did you say you were? I'm twenty nine. Okay. Yeah. All right, so what happened when you were 19? You're in college. Yeah, I was just getting out of college, actually. Mm -hmm. um, and I don't know. I just, my, the upper left side of my back, like, I can't touch it. Mm -hmm. And I've gone to the chiropractor before. Um, but it's just like, it's kind of like if I, like, move a little, even just, like, a little bit, I could feel, like, pulling. Okay. Um, that, and then, like, my neck is always, like, sitting kind of, like, forward. Mm-hmm. Um, so I always feel like just like everything up here is always like pulling it needs to be like cracked And sometimes I could like literally just like move just like that and right. like everything will just like pop Right. Okay. It's, yeah, it's just and then you get some relief from that. Yeah, a little bit. How but, long does it last? Uh, not very long like an hour or a day uh, Like an hour or so because okay. I have to keep like adjusting myself over mm -hmm. and over. Yeah. All right, so no major injuries accidents no sports injuries Okay, what did you do in college? Like, what did I go to school for? Yeah. Law and economics. You headaches ever? Yeah, headaches all the time. All right. Mm, give me how many a week? Like, two a week? One a week? Uh, every day? Two, like, pretty solid headaches a week. Okay. I used to get bad migraines, um, and I don't get those frequently. Mm -hmm. But um, it's more so... It feels like a headache, but it's more so, like almost like my neck it's almost like pain radiating from my neck into my head as mm -hmm. opposed to like an actual headache do you take any vitamins herbs or minerals i take a um prenatal okay you're trying to conceive a child now yeah i've been trying for like a little over two and a half years okay very good how long you been married for uh, since 2019, right before the pandemic, December of 2019. What? We've been trying since we got married, which oh, is okay. about two and a half. All right, okay. so you've been adjusted. We're going to focus on upper back, neck issues, probably some headache. I think we'll see your headaches resolve just based on the sound of it. I know that there's some soft tissue work that needs to be done today just by listening to you describe this. So let's do an exam on your spine. Let's get you adjusted and we'll go from there. Cool. Okay. That oh. big toe was really active. Yeah, I go the other way. Big toe is really active. What does that mean? I don't know. It's just, <laughs> I've never seen a big toe jump up towards the sky like that. I'm so excited. That's so weird. Why, when I walk, it does that? Yeah, your big toe. Now I'm going to be so insecure about that. Oh, it's... I'm going to think about it all the time. It's now. unique. You should like it. You should point it out to people and be like, hey, check out my big toe. No, I watch people walk all the time. I've never seen a big toe do that before. All right, but otherwise, the feet look good. good. I don't see any pronation or supination or external internal rotation. Very symmetrical at the level of the feet. Good. Now, looking at the shoulders, we have a high left shoulder. It's very slight and only can really tell by the, by the height of the fingertips going back the other way. Good. Yep. From the back, it's a little bit more obvious that we have a high left shoulder. I don't see any compensating head tilt for it, though. Eyebrows look even, eyes look even, that's good. Good. Okay, now looking at the hips. Oh, okay, any movement from left to right? I see very symmetrical movement. There might be some restriction on the right SI uh, hip area, but we don't even have any low back pain, that's good. And we definitely have a high right hip too, so maybe a possible left short leg. We'll see that in the prone position. If you're just observing your spine, I see the high left shoulder again here. Okay, looking at the level of the scapula, it's mild. That's good. You do have a little bit of a shift in your spine. You're like leaning over to the side just a little bit. Okay, I'm going to do a very gentle scan on the top of your spine. Okay, definitely have some tension here. 
and the right thoracic lumbar spine. So this is where that curvature starts. That's okay. You're, you're taking care of this. Somehow this is compensated for. That doesn't give you any issues. Yep, you said you were leaning forward. Yeah. Your head leans forward. Yeah, yeah. You, have, you have some loss of your cervical lordosis here. That's okay. This is just postural stuff. Easy. Easy to work on this with a little bit of stretching, a little bit of mindfulness. Okay, I'm going to do a temperature evaluation. This is nice, consistent here. A lot of heat coming off of this transition right here. It's very top of your spine. You don't have a hump here or anything, but that's this is where you're going to have to really be careful of your posture so you don't get one of those humps because mm -hmm. your head is moving forward. And it'll continue in that direction if you, unless you pay attention to it. Okay, pushing a little bit deeper to your spine. Definitely I'm getting some of the tension here. And there's definitely more on the left mm -hmm. here. Is that where you said you feel it more? Mm -hmm. Left shoulder? Okay, not too bad. And, and this is this curvature or whatever she found is so minimal. It's nice and straight here. It's just like a postural shift. Not so much a curvature. Any tension, discomfort, tenderness here? No. Right SI here? No. Oh, here we go. Here's that middle of the back thing. It's a little bit above that thoracic lumbar transition that I felt earlier, but your skin reacted slightly more here on the right side. Hmm. And so a little bit down here too, where I pointed out earlier, but really this right interscapula area in between the spine and the scapula. Just bring your chin down to your chest. Good back up. Down. Tight? It's tight, but yeah, but it doesn't hurt. Also tight, but... Which side is it tighter to? I think it's tighter the other way. Mm-hmm. Okay, so we're restricted there and left lateral flexion. Good. We're like right in the middle yeah. of C5, C6 here on the left. So we'll take a closer look at that. So looking at the glute fibers, this tells us which way the pelvis has moved, okay? You're gonna feel my fingers on the back of your hamstrings. I'm gonna trace up to the bottom of the glute fold. Good, we're lower on the right, meaning that the right hip is possibly going backwards like this, or the left hip is going forward. We're gonna look from the top, and there's no external or internal rotation to speak of there. So let's see what happens when we check for scoliosis. Go ahead and turn and face that way, please. Go let your head relax. Did your back just crack? A little. It was like here in your sacrum, mm -hmm. right? Okay, head relax, good. Okay, so no, there's no curvatures in the thoracic spine uh, to speak of. There's no rib humping here. And even the lumbar spine is really flattened out and it looks very straight to me. So go ahead and stand up now. So then when you were sitting down, there was a little bit of a shifting. I can see it just a tiny bit, but I wouldn't even call this a scoliosis just because it has to be measured as 10 degrees on x-ray, but I don't think that you would meet that criteria. Oh, okay, so the right leg is short. Lift up your hips, do the right leg. Mm -hmm. First, go down, let that relax. Good, okay, let me lift up your hip here. Let me do it, good. Down, let that relax. It's definitely normal to feel it here when you have tension headaches, the way that you described your headaches. Yeah, that's so painful. Mm -hmm. 
Nice, gentle breathing. It's going to work out some of this tension. We got some tension up here in between the <laughs> shoulder blades. Nope. This is good though. This is like entrepreneur tension. <laughs> well, it's the right kind. It's the kind of tension that you want. That's funny. Okay, so what I mean by entrepreneurial tension is I mean, it doesn't start here. It starts here. <laughs> That's kind of what I, what I figured. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I'm always super, super stressed. So that's just... Are you a Gemini? Um, so I'm born on June 21st. So it's like, it's called the magic cusp or is it where it's yeah. like half Gemini, half cancer. cancer yeah. yeah. Mm. It's a tough one because it's like not only are you thinking about it all the time with the Gemini, but now you're going to cry about it. Exactly, it's like exactly. <laughs> okay, so far so good though. We can at least start taking down this physical tension with the adjustment. That's the easy part. And like I said, it's the kind of tension that you do want to have. Like, you can't be an entrepreneur and not have tension. You know what I mean? That's like, true. I mean, I guess you could, anything's possible, but at the same time, but it, that's just what it takes. It's a twenty four seven thing. You're you're never not on. Exactly. That's that's the thing that becomes so stressful is that you're never not on. So then I'm just constantly mm -hmm. like, mm -hmm. you know, I don't. Then I don't sleep right and right. You know. Okay. Right. Good. That's good awareness. And so like, but the thing is, is that. So the never not on is that sometimes is that your different parts of you are on. Mm -hmm. The part of you that's never not on is the part of you that's like thinking and creating new ideas and you're you're generating formulas and planning that kind of thing. But uh, any good entrepreneur will eventually learn and it usually happens when you're more like seasoned and mature into it. Because when you're in your twenties, you can work, you can <laughs> you can birth, but burn both ends of the of the candle. Is that what it, burn both, both ends? Are, of the mm -hmm. Like the candle, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Okay, it means staying up late and getting up early. But anyway, it's easier <laughs> to do that. The older you get, though, the more that you'll start to delegate time and also tasks. You know what I mean? Buying time is an important yeah, concept. Yeah, that's definitely something that's. 
Okay, good, good, good. You're thinking about it. And, and that's what happens before you do it. You think about it and then you do it. Okay, nice, gentle breathing. We're just going to sink into the sound for a couple moments. Good night, gentle breathing.
Nice and gentle breathing. Good, shoulders sinking and scratching already. That's good. We're gonna do one more breath, just like that. In breath, and out. Sinking and shoulders, good. Ooh. Good release. Wasn't huge, I can feel your tension. Good. We're gonna come up two segments here. Good, shoulders sinking, hips sinking. It's all letting go into the table. That's good, do that again, same thing. In breath, good, letting it go. Out breath, sink. That was intense. Yeah, I mean, it cracks. Breathing, deep breath in and out. Good, sinking shoulders, let the shoulders sink a little bit more. Good, another soft breath, there it is. Mm. Okay, this one's a little bit different. This time we push at the top of the breath, so you're gonna breathe all the way in. Good, and then right about that. Uh, right there is when we'll push as you breathe out. So let's try that breath again in. Go ahead and let the shoulders relax as you breathe out. Lean back, hold this slouch. Good, breathe. Keep breathing. Good. Whoa. side adjustment. So I'm going to bring your shoulders up like this. I'm going to bring your hips down like this. Then when we get to about there, we're going to push in that direction like that, okay? All right, let's give it a try. Go and take a deep breath in and out. Good. We're going to bring the shoulders up, hip down. Good. Good. Let's do one more. Good. Lay on your back. I think you popped that thing in my back that needed to be popped. I'm like confused. I don't want to like Say, say that you did, and then like I'll move around, and then I'll be like, oh wait, never mind, I still feel it. Mm -hmm. But I feel like, oh. As you breathe out, we're gonna bring your sh hips down, shoulders this way, and give a little push. Okay. okay? Let's try it out. Deep breath in and out. Good. Down. Good. Good. Lay on your back. I'm really convinced that you popped it. Yeah, but imagine if that was like all that needed to be popped and I've lived with that for like almost a decade. All right, let's do this. Um, go ahead and turn your head to the right. Back to center. Turn your head to the left. Center. Bring your right ear down to your shoulder. Center. Left ear down to your shoulder. Center. You're not left-handed, are you? Hmm? You're not left-handed, are you? I am. How did you know that? Because your spine told me. That's so weird.
I really think that that thing in my back is gone. I'm like really convinced. Nice and gentle. I'm gonna bring your head to right here. Then we're gonna push in that direction like that, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, let your head and shoulders relax. Just kind of sink in. Good, letting it go. Good. Good, gentle, 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 gentle. Good, you can close your eyes, nothing to look at. Good. <laughs> Good, that was a little bit, hold on. Okay, shoulders, good, let it all go. Sinky, good, let this drop. <laughs> Not bad. Not much better. Good, shoulders relaxed, good. Sinking in, good. Nice, gentle seat to on the right, good. Go let your head drop, let your shoulders relax, just let it drop in. Whoa. <laughs> good. Good job, you're doing good. Breathe it out. Relax your face. Relax your face. <laughs> All right, I'm gonna go just your ankles. Just kind of sink in here a little pull here. Go on the right side, go, let this relax. God, even your feet are dense. <laughs> We're gonna do a digestive organ manipulation. Are you joking? No, 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 no. This is how you manipulate the digestive organs. Really? Yeah, it's okay. Yeah. See how that was very <laughs> unconscious. You're just like, wait a minute. Okay, so here's how we locate it. First, you find the umbilical right here. Then you find the ASIS, front of the hip. Connect these two points. That's where you begin looking for the for the ileocecal valve. Yours is right there. Not too bad. Is it tender to you? Mm, like a little, mm -hmm. I guess. Okay. It's good. For the next one is the pyloric sphincter. This is two inches above the belly button. We do the four fingers. Good. Now diaphragm manipulation, we just come up underneath the rib cage here and you just have to do some belly breathing. There you go, belly breathing, that's good. Breathe into your belly. Good and out. Into your belly. How's your digestion? Oh, I'm not great. Yeah. Stress causes it to slow down. Yeah. Your muscles get tense. Your muscles, these are muscles too. These muscles in here are just as, as, t as tense <laughs> as your back muscles, okay? Like you can hear how responsive mm -hmm. your stomach is to it. Just even the breathing alone was changing the gastric motility. Mm -hmm. When you move, when you use your diaphragm, when you do the diaphragmatic breathing, your diaphragm's moving up and down, it changes the pressure inside your abdominal cavity. That's what increases that gastric motility. Mm. You're digesting food better. It also pulls on the central tendon, which is attached to your pericardium, which causes the heart to slow down in rate and rhythm. Yeah. So like it's a very calming, relaxing thing. And, and the digestive system is part of the parasympathetic nervous system, which you have to be calm and relaxed for. You know, you can't poop if you're stressed. Yeah. <laughs> is that, I'm guessing it's more constipation than the other way around. Yeah. 
Mm -hmm. Okay. But okay, I'm gonna raise the table up underneath of your legs. All right, so this is a full spine adjustment. I'm gonna use this towel to support your neck. You okay with that? Yeah, are you gonna warn me like before you pull? Yeah, of course. Okay, okay I, just like the other adjustments, I'm following your breath. Good, and as you breathe out, we're just following it in this direction, and then we'll give a little pull at the end, okay? Mm -hmm. Okay, you can close your eyes, nothing to look at. Good, nice and gentle breathing. We'll follow this breath out here. Let your hips and your shoulders just sink in as much as you can. Holy shit. Whoa! Okay. <laughs> Pretty sorry, good, I just have to laugh. <laughs> yeah, laugh it out. <laughs> okay, I'll be here for like another hour. <laughs> Whoa. I can hear. I like literally can hear right now. Yeah. Like I, f I didn't realize how bad my hearing was until like just now. Wow. I think, I think I had tinnitus. Cause it's so, now it's like so quiet. Like I don't hear my own ears. Wow. That was so weird. Oh my gosh. <laughs> That's so crazy. That's awesome. <laughs> yeah. That fixes, that fixed my ears. Like who knew I had issues with my ears? Mm -hmm. Okay, that pain in the left side of my back is definitely gone. Nice. Yeah, that's so, that's so crazy. <laughs> Yeah, but that was like, and then I even felt it pull like in here, kind of like popped in there. Mm -hmm. That was crazy. Put that one for me. Oh, I know what you need. It's this one. It could go. Huh? I feel it. Good awareness. <laughs> Isn't that crazy? I can just feel mm -hmm. it. Like, that's huge. There's a neuron attached. Like, there are neurons. There are neurons attached to the inside of your joint that delivers the message <laughs> to your brain. brain. That's your, it can that like, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, what? That in itself is amazing. A little bit. Feel that relax. That's so cool, I've always wanted that done. All right, so uh, in Western medicine, the pulse reading is always done on the radial artery as measured with one or two fingers, and it measures rate, rhythm, contour, and amplitude. These are all measurements of the cardiovascular system and how efficiently the heart is pumping blood. In traditional Chinese medicine and also Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic medicine, which is the medicine from India, 
two medicine systems that are thousands and thousands of years old. Uh, they use a three-point pulse system. Both of them use a three-point pulse with a superficial and a deep and on both sides. So there's 12 different pulse points, each linked to 12 organs and 12 meridians in the traditional Chinese medicine. Uh, the Ayurvedic, Ayurvedic medicine uh, pulse reading has been developed into, uh, into further there are, there, are, there are more than just a superficial and a deep layer. There's actually seven different layers. And each layer has a different set of information to reveal. But they still use the basic superficial and deep. So on the superficial layer on the right side, it goes large intestine, stomach, adrenal gland, and thyroid. And then on the deep layer, when we push down, it reads the lung, the spleen, and the organs of reproduction. So let's do the right side first. That was your jaw? Yeah. <laughs> right or left? Right. Okay, so based on your physical disposition and what I know so far, um, because you you're you're tall and you're lean and that is the the ectomorph in exercise sciences or or what ayurvedic medicine would call the vata which is made up of air and ether the elements air and ether okay we'll get into that but when i read the pulse it has a very heavy feeling on the reproductive system and so um and so the heavy would tell me that there is a um, that there's a slowness in your reproductive system. So let's go into your menstrual cycle. Um, do you have a heavy flow? This past month I did, but not typically. No. Okay, interesting. So that reads perfectly. I'm reading the heaviness now, but your constitution dictates what is typical. Um, and for you, it would be a lighter, more sporadic flow. Tell mm -hmm. me about the timing. Do you get close to 28 days consistently? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's pretty consistent. Okay, it's good. So that's good timing with the moon cycle because the 28-day moon cycle is the, is the reflection of the... Actually, the reproductive cycle is the tw reflection of the 28-day moon cycle. Uh, do you... Okay, so you're just getting done your period now. Yeah. Okay. So, uh, so your reverse on the new moon and and full moon, that means you you're kind of witchy. Yeah, <laughs> and, uh, most women will will bleed on the on the new moon and ovulate on the full moon. Mm. But sometimes, if it's reversed, maybe you're like into into different kinds of medicinal arts. Yeah. <laughs> Yes. Yep, and uh, I I think that in the spleen pulse feels like it is lacking. I don't know how's your immune system usually. Do you get sick often? <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I haven't. Um, well, that's why I was sick like I had COVID like a month ago. Um, but yeah, I used to get sick a lot, but. N I would say within like the past year or so, not as bad. But. Okay. <clears throat> now, you've been married since 2019, mm -hmm. and you've been trying to conceive since you got married. Mm -hmm. Do you use the calendar method to try to conceive? Are you yeah. timing it? Mm -hmm. Okay. You know, it's not unheard of for chiropractic to help with infertility. I've heard. Okay. Yeah, your adrenal glands are, are definitely tired. And uh, well, how do you, I mean, you work pretty hard from, uh, okay. So I would assume that you work pretty hard. I do. I do. <laughs> um, what's, your, what's your energy levels like? Oh my gosh, my energy is, I mean, even though I'm tired, I'm always on the go. So I run off of adrenaline, like, all the time. Because <laughs> I don't sleep well. Okay, that's that's a solid reading right there. It's very accurate. Just by how straightforward and and consistent your pulse is and how consistent your constitution is that there's nothing here to get over except for yourself. 
and the and the chiropractic care and the infertility sometimes it's mechanical just because like the way that pelvis is tilted and sperm are trying to get up and around the curve there and so sometimes it is like we just take tension out of of like the mechanical system and it allows the the reproductive tract to be more open towards the the movement of sperm and then other times too it, it really is like a global there's a global tension in the body it's like an inside out tension you know what i mean mm -hmm. it's like i said like the shoulder stuff is coming from in here in your mind it's the same thing with your digestive system being slow it's the same thing with your reproductive system um, being light it is that really is all just coming it's a trickle down effect for you it's a trickle down effect well actually i'm going to verify it right now for something else deeper let's see Again, solid and consistent. I can feel three, all, all three pulses very distinctly, very easily. And that's because you're a vata. It's because you're, you're air and ether. You're the exomorph. So on the left side, superficial. It goes small intestine, gallbladder, urinary bladder. I'm okay with the way this feels initially, so you don't have any, uh, so urinary bladder, no urinary tract infections? I don't know. Okay, good, no, I don't, no, it's strong. You would know. Okay, also good with the, with the, your, with the gallbladder. And the small intestine is working, that's for sure. There's either food in there right now, or it's part of that tension that we discussed, which is not no, and that's okay. So I'm going to go down to the deep layer. It's like almost the heart pulse feels like there's like this it wants to grow okay I should have actually known this from the squirrel video so have you ever had a near-death experience uh yeah <laughs> tell me about it were you eight I don't know was I what how old were you no how old did you just ask eight yeah Are you joking right now? I'm not. That's really weird. Yeah, I know. <laughs>